Meteorologist Alex Puckett here for your Saturday webcast. And we're talking the chance for strong to severe storms throughout the evening, Saturday evening. Main threat with this going to be very large hail. That's going to be the top threat at the extreme threshold. High winds also a likelihood with these storms. Have to keep an eye out for a few isolated tornadoes and some flooding. But again, the high winds and hail going to be a big issue. So let's time this out for you. Once we get into the 7, 8, even 9 o'clock hours, starting to see those storms make their way into our area, crossing the Mississippi River into uh, the WCBI viewing area. Uh, once we get into the 11 o'clock hour, numerous thunderstorms across a good portion of our area uh, out ahead of this warm front. More storms continuing to move through as we get into the midnight hour, into the early morning hours for your Sunday. Still dealing with those storms in West Alabama at the 1.30 hour. And then finally, once we get into the 2 o'clock, into the 3 o'clock hour, we should see a lull in this activity. Now, as we move through the day on Sunday, a few more scattered showers and storms likely, but those appear to stay below severe limits. So let's map this out for you as far as where we're most concerned. For areas in this yellow here, we're talking about winds up to 60 miles an hour, some hail up the size of maybe a quarter. The tornado threat is fairly low, but it's not quite zero. So we'll keep an eye out in these uh, areas in the yellow. It includes places like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Huntsville, and Tupelo. Now in the orange, that severe risk a bit higher. Winds 70 miles an hour. Hail up to one and a half inch in diameter. And tornadoes are going to be uh, a little bit more likely in this area. Again, the overall tornado threat not overly high, but something we'll keep an eye on in this orange area. Now once you get into the red region, this doesn't include very much of our viewing area, but it do, does include places like Jackson, Greenville, Meridian, and Hattiesburg. We're talking about wind gusts of 70 to 80 miles an hour in the strongest storms, hail two inches and larger in diameter, and tornadoes likely in this area. Some tornadoes down south of I-20 could be strong. So obviously concern is higher down in that area. And you see that here. This is our significant tornado parameter forecast. You see as the further you go south and west, you see those values picking up a little bit. That's where you see some of the greens and yellows. Now, as we go through the evening, the good news is these values start to go down a bit. They peak here and there, but I think for the most part, the tornado threat will be highest to our south, but it's not zero here. Something we'll have to keep an eye on through the rest of the evening. Now, for tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms continue. Uh, these should stay, for the most part, below severe limits, but... We'll keep an eye on those as well. Highs in the low to mid 60s area wide. That includes the Golden Triangle as well, again, with those off and on showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Same goes for West Alabama. So once we get this initial wave out, we get so showers and storms for your Sunday. But once we get into Monday and Tuesday, things quieten down a little bit. We'll deal with some sunshine and some cooler weather as well. So finally, we get rid of some of this more active weather. Next seven days, still dealing with the thunderstorms on Sunday. Again, the severe risk uh, just quite isn't quite there for your Sunday. Then a little bit of a lull in the rain chances Monday and Tuesday. Once we get into Wednesday, another chance for some showers, but overall, uh, no severe risk with any of that. And then we'll round out the week on a cooler note.